Hello, this is Tim Thieler with SolidWorker.com and CADWorks Corporation. Today we're going to take a look at what the K factor is in sheet metal. Understand how the K factor affects the bend allowance or deduction and learn a little bit about equations in the process. Here I've produced a sketch which is what we're going to be producing in this video. This is going to help us demonstrate how the K factor will influence the final flattened length of a sheet metal bent part. I'll begin with a nice new inch template and I'm going to begin a new sketch on the front plane. What I'm going to do here is draw a sketch that would represent the cross section of a piece of bent sheet metal. So just use some line tools here just get the lines on the screen. It's just a simple little region of bent material. These two arcs should definitely be concentric to one another. And let's put some dimensions on this to define it. I'd like the length on the legs, or the, the lands, the linear regions, to be one inch. And I'd like the material thickness in this case, let's call it half inch. And let's stick a inside radius or the sharp die radius of quarter inch. Now, let's think about what a K factor is. The K factor is the ratio of the compressible region of the material over the full thickness of the material. In other words, we could think of a neutral plane bisecting the thickness of the material that represents the partition or the division from where the material compresses versus stretches. So I'm going to draw in this this K plane using the simple construction line tool here. Oops, that caught the midpoint. I'll delete that and attach that. I want that to be vertical. I want a tangency between these and these should certainly be concentric. Now you see this is able to slide through the thickness of that material. Now its position will be held by the K factor value. I'm going to use some equations to do this. Under tools equations I'm going to add a new equation. and I'm going to create a new value which I'll call K and assign it the value of how about 0.5. I'll hit OK to create that new equation. It's basically just a variable in this situation. And I'll confirm out of that. Now, it's the ratio of the compressible region over the full thickness. That 0.5 is the ratio. So a distance from here to here could be driven by that 0.5 ratio pull this down, add an equation, and I'm saying that that distance there that I've just produced is to be assigned the value of the full thickness of the material times the K factor value that we've just created. Confirm that. We see that it equates to 0.25, or the midplane of this thickness. Hit OK we see it comes out to that value. If I change that K factor, perhaps I change it to 0.35, we see that the value decreases and it moves closer to the compressive side of the material. Now let's see how this would affect the linear form of this. I'm going to draw a long rectangle down here. I'll make this length equal to this length. Just to hold it down here in space, I'll put a dimension of one and a half down there. Make that coincident. Now to drive the length of this rectangle, I will draw three line segments. One, two, three. This line segment should be equal in length to that line segment. This segment equal in length to that segment. 
also. It's not a necessary step, but I'm going to stick a little construction line right there. And another one right there. That line will be that length. So I'll just make that line the same length. That way we see the neutral plane in the same position in the two materials, rather than creating that dimension again. Now, the length of this segment should be equal to the length of this arc. You can't just make an arc and a line equal in length. What we'll have to do is produce an arc length dimension off this fully defined arc, and then assign an equation driven dimension equal to that arc length value. So I'll use the smart dimension tool. Create this arc length dimension. You produce an arc length dimension by using smart dimension, pick the arc, then pick the endpoints of the arc. That dimension represents the length of that arc. Because it was fully defined, it's asking me if I wish this to be a driven dimension. I do in this case. And now we have that driven dimension, which is a function of that length. I will now make an equation driven dimension on this linear segment which is assigned the value of that dimension. So now as the k factor changes, the k value we've created, this dimension will change moving this neutral plane line through the material thickness, increasing or decreasing the length of the arc, adjusting the flat length of that arc region. So I'll change the equation value again. This time I'll make it, um, let me push this up here, push that away. This time I'll make it 0.75. Okay, okay. And we've seen that the k-plane has driven down closer towards the outside surface of the radius. The radius has gotten longer, and as has our flat pattern. Now, this is a neat sketch. We've learned a lot about equations and the definition of a k-factor. Let's prove ourselves right. I'm going to draw a construction line just over here, which we'll use as a visual reference in a moment. And I'll make that coincident with that. Now, I'm going to do an extrusion using this fully defined sketch. I'll extrude this. Uh, how about one inch? And, and I'll use selected contours so that only this upper region extrudes. And I'll confirm that. I'll reshow that sketch. And if we use the sheet metal tools to flatten this bit of material, we have the k factor box here. If I put in the k factor value that the equation is currently set at, which is 0.75. Confirm that. When I flatten this piece out, we see that the material as calculated in flat length by SolidWorks exactly lines up with the end of our manually calculated flat length. Let's make some changes. If I modify the sketch driving K, how about I set that to 0.25. Edit that sketch. See the value has gotten shorter. The material now definitely has quite a disparity. Let's re-edit the sheet metal feature. Change that K factor to the 0.25 we've updated the sketch to. And we now see that they do in fact match. So We've learned quite a bit about sketching with equations, arc length dimensions, and we've also learned the definition and the function of the k-factor in your sheet metal. Hope this was beneficial. Remember, visit solidworker.com and purchase your SolidWorks software, training, and add-ins from CADWorks Corporation, located in Pennsylvania. Have a good day.